hello shiny tubers and welcome back at long last to let's play shining force cd book number three finally with me below Anculo. now if you're watching in the playlist and they're all together lucky you if you're watching as a you know current published released tuber uh it's been a long time probably over a year since book two and i definitely didn't intend to do that i meant to go through book one through three with maybe four all in a row but we've had some weird technical difficulties uh, I don't want to get into all the nitty-gritty details, but I've had the hard drive fail, my Windows install has bugged out, I've had to reinstall Windows two or three times since I played the last book, maybe even the middle of book two, I think I had that happen. And it's just been a bit of a mess, so I've been way falling behind on lots of Let's Play content, but I didn't forget quite, although someone in Discord may have helped me out a little bit. Um, but I have always planned to finish this off. It just got delayed a little bit. Uh, the reason we're looking at the emulator screen is I just want to take the beginning of this episode, just a couple minutes here, to demonstrate what you might need to do to play along. I don't know if I've ever done this, and I've, like, I'm going to be a bit rusty on the story, not that it's super uh, compelling, let's say. But uh, I'm going to show you the RetroArch settings, or configuration because uh, most of the common Sega Genesis emulators might be able to run a Sega CD game but they don't necessarily have the internal uh, memory to, to do the, f the storage so that you can play two different books and then import uh, the characters you save from them into the uh, the third the third game. Uh, so RetroArch is the emulator we're looking at right now and it's my least favorite emulator that I've played with probably. Maybe not the absolute worst but it's pretty far down my list of enjoyable emulator uh it's the interface just drives me bonkers but it does work so if, you're, if you want to play along this is perhaps the one to use uh, i'm not going to get through all the configuration but one of the main things this does differently than your classic you know super nintendo sega genesis emulators is it can emulate a whole bunch of different uh, consoles so you have to download and install various cores for different um, emulator for different console systems. So you could get an NES emulator or an NES core, or a Sega Genesis core, or this one that has Sega. It's Genesis Plus GX is the one I'm using, and it says it works with Master System, Game Gear. I don't remember what MD stands for and Sega CD. Or you could use the Pico Drive one, which says it works with the 32X as well. Uh, but this is the one I've been using, uh, so that's fine. Um, you also have to, like, the, unlike normal emulators, you have to, like, install a bunch of different drivers and stuff that you don't normally have to mess around with. These are just the basic ones I'm using, D input for, uh, normal input. I don't actually know if I'm using X input, uh, just a basic GL driver for the video, X audio for your audio. I don't even want to touch these right now, because I don't want to mess up my recording settings, which are already finicky enough. With all my reinstalls, I'm a little bit worried that things might not work. And then there are video settings. Um, it's actually quite detailed. There are some bonuses to this emulator that it gives you an awful lot of options, which is good. Like some of these are really nice to see because a lot of simpler emulators don't have them. On the other hand, it's very not newbie friendly because there's an awful lot of stuff here you probably won't know how to handle if you're just playing it for the first time. Uh, you can also see that I'm using a video filter that um, makes the pixely looking, I think the original resolution of Genesis or Sega CD was is it 480? Like 360 by 480 or something like that? I forget the exact resolution, but anyway, we've upscaled things because we're playing on a, um, uh, you know, modern modern monitor and stuff for YouTube. Um, I, I There's some things I really don't like, like, for instance, I've been trying to calm down the game's uh, volume, for instance. So if I select volume gain, which is, uh, I guess there's master and, and volume, I'm not sure... Global audio mixer versus audio volume. I'm not sure when one is used or the other, but for instance, you select it and you start at negative 80 and you have to go. This is really like, I, I'm not trying to rag on RetroArch developers, but like this is a terrible design. There's no mouse shortcuts. It's all keyboard or gamepad controlled. So it's, it's designed kind of like, you know, everyone, everyone really loved that Steam big picture system. I mean, I hated it. But this, to me, is very similar to that. I, I miss the menus. I miss file, edit, config with a pop-up window with simple mouse controls. This just takes me so long. It, it does have a lot of options, but it takes me so long to find anything. Um, yeah, anyway, so it does do all the stuff your emulator would normally want to do, plus probably a bunch of stuff you don't care about. But um, 
there's your very basic intro to how to actually do it. Oh yeah, Landstalker, that's a cool game. I remember playing that a bit. Anyway, uh, once you've loaded a core and loaded a game, you find... Oh, jeez. Really good tutorial here, Blue. Really good. I think... Do I have to go back to load content? I thought I already did this. Where was it? See, this is it. Like, even just playing the game that I've already loaded a couple times. I mean, you could mark it as a favorite or something. Okay, good. It's, it's got history. This is easy enough. So just go to a game that you've already found it in. You know, you have to have the ROM ready to go and all that. And then you can add to favorites. Yep. Or associate with... I mean, sure, that might be smart. Associate it with that core. I didn't even hit run and it just starts. So is it starting? Have I doomed us all? Five minutes in, will the game actually... I think it, feel, it looks more like we've doomed us all. So don't do that, apparently. Jeesh. And this is why I wanted to show it off. Because this this is this is my excuse for why we haven't gotten Shining Force Book 3 going yet. And uh, it should work. I loaded the right core first. It doesn't even like my, my, my Switch controller very much, but... There we go. Everything's up for you guys. I may have skipped when I restarted it, but... Is there audio though? It was there was audio the last time I loaded a game. You know what I think it did? I think it saved my minus eighty decibels. Even though I didn't I just went back from the menu. Cause you should be able to hear the Yeah, there's definitely music here. Well, we're off to a great start, guys. I could just restart the video here, but no, you get to see this is this is the the fun of Shining Force CD RetroArc. Audio, volume, yeah, it just saved it at negative 61, so I've got to go all the way back down. And yeah, okay, it goes pretty quick, it's just, this is so silly. Anyway, 15 should be enough, run, see if this works. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, oh, there we go, now you guys can see it, and you can hear it. Oh, also, just as we're getting our intro out of the way, the slides on the left, I was really excited, I guess, the last time, a couple years ago, when I made those up. I have not really messed with them for book three, so I'm probably missing some characters, or there's some characters that aren't going to be included, but I fe felt like I'd leave the nice custom artwork over there that I made years ago. Uh, sorry, I just don't have the time to go through all the graphics editing. I must have been really excited when I started Shining Force CD, but now I kind of just don't want it to get abandoned. So after the intro here, as I remember what's going on... We'll, we'll get to the game soon. When the Runefaust army invaded. This is just Shining Force 1, no big deal, you, you remember that. With the heroics of Max and the Shining Force, Dark Dragon was defeated. Nobody brought the robot to the final battle, though. The victors return to their normal lives, vowing for renewed peace. Some disappeared, some left for further adventure, and some returned to their homes and families. For over a year while Bluenkilo naps. I know, right, right book three. We've already seen this in book one and two. I'll, I'll see if I can give a real and quick Andy recap. Return to her kingdom as the Queen of Guardiana. With help from Ken, Luke, and Lo, they rebuilt the kingdom from the ashes of the Runefaust invasion. And all the uh, retconned names of our characters. The story begins. 20 years after. 22 years later. <laughs> uh, I wish I'd played this more consecutively. I think that's it, yeah. All right, so Shining Force CD is, as before, a continuation of the Shining Force 1 story. We are not in the timeline as far as Shining Force 2. And if this music is really loud, I really hope I've balance it okay. It, I've been turning it down more and more and more and it just keeps sounding loud in my ears. Um, maybe, let's see if I can do... Hi, 
Ha! Turn it down for you guys a few decibels. I have the power. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. So, Shining Force CD Book 1 was the story of uh, the Guardiana forces. Uh, Queen Henri was, like, turned to stone, and uh, we set off some army. Like, we said the, the, the real soldiers went out and got crushed by, like, Waldo and everything. And then we sent out a new hero and his ragtag band of Shining Forceians. Uh, eventually, you know, you get the legendary sword, you kill the bad guy, you win. Except uh, the hero got his arm turned to stone, right? Like, he got stung by a... By a scorpion and then book two followed the uh was it runefoss no no not runefoss but the, the the bad guys sort of that had now surrendered you found out like there was a different kingdom to the west that was controlling them iom or something so another secondary new hero with their set of forces um tries to go again follow after there was this new legendary sword that got stolen we were chasing after it blah 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 uh, eventually we found it, we gathered back up with the hero from the first one and slew the big bad again. And we thought everything was good. Apparently it's not. The idea is book three will import the characters from book one and two. And I did a, that was a terrible recap because it's been a long time. So I, I <laughs> apologize for the terrible recap. That's as good as I've got. Uh, we'll see if we remember it as we go. But yeah, the important thing here is you need to use your cartridge memory, not your inner backup memory. Inner backup is like... I don't know what the difference is, but you, I think that's in the system, but you, this is this is the problem I had with other emulators, is it didn't hold on to this a data correctly, it wouldn't let me save. So we've got blue number two, which was when I had to off-camera replay the first book because I didn't save it correctly, and I had to switch emulators or something. We have Diana from book two, which is the one we just finished, you know, sequentially in the, uh, in the Let's Play. And then uh, I did test at least one time that we can import into book three. So if we do a new game here, new challenge is the next one. And this should all be new content for you guys. And I've only barely seen the beginning. So I'm not, it's actually harder to find guides for book three. And we'll see. Uh, is this a sequel? Uh, yeah. Blue number two import. And also Deanna imports. So all those levels you grinded up on your first two heroes. Enjoy. I think, unfortunately, in book one, I missed Domino or something when I replayed it. So I'm missing, like, one character import. But... Oh, I don't know if I'm okay with super hard, really. I'll put it on hard, because the game was pretty easy. But I just want to have some fun and see if there's anything interesting in the story. But we'll try hard. I do remember thinking, generally speaking, these games were not too difficult. Now, this game, I believe, was only available on Sega CD. So, sh so book one and book two were Game Gear uh, games, you know, Sega Game Gear, uh, ported to the Shining Force CD with Shining Force 2 graphics, approximately. This time, though, this is new content that was never on the Game Gear, as far as I know. Well, well, this must be my lucky day. Don't you think so, Jaha? I'll do some voice acting, because might as well. <laughs> I agree, I still got my pot. I want to attend the ceremony of Blue Number 2. I'm really glad I put the number 2 there. Prince Blue. His name is actually Prince Nick, if I remember correctly, or something like that. So he's not really from Guardiana. He's from this place. But in the first book, you know, he came down to Guardiana to help out. And we overslew, overthrew his uncle or something, as usual. Why are we on duty today, anyway? We worked hard against the battle in the battle against Iom. Because you two always bungle everything. At least we get to see the promoted sprites right off the bat. It's going to be weird starting a new game campaign with pre-promoted super end games, you know, weapons and armor, theoretically. Because <laughs> now I actually believe that these guys could slaughter people and knock people's flying with all their full heavy armor and level 20 stats. Not so much about uh, Mr. Monk there, though. Anyway, the three boys, as usual, not really doing a very good job on guard duty. They're still very immature, even though, and this is a slight critique. One of the things I liked about these games with class changes as a kid was it was like you're, you got to watch your characters grow up. They start as like a, you know, a, a plucky youngster, and then over the course of the game you get to see some new sprites, they get uh, upgraded graphics, and they, they get a little bit more mature. They kind of grow up, you know. Here we are seeing them in their promoted versions, grown up, and still act like children, so... 
I don't think Shining Force knows how to do a formula for starting with adults. It's too much. All right, Luke, Jaha, Eric, you left your post. Despicable. Oh, my, she's called us every time. Natasha, Deanne, I remember those names. Ah, you came to the celebration. I didn't know you were coming. Right. Natasha was like the mage hero, right? She was pretty cool. This is a celebration for Prince Blue. The second. How have you been? All right, there's probably some flirting going on here between a couple of them. I forget who. The one uh, centaur knight lady that actually pays attention here. All right, even the guests from Guardian are here. Yay. All right, see you later. Get out of the way. Go back to guard duty, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna get invaded. Trusting these three to watch the walls. I remember reading that in the Japanese versions, um, these three are fairly lewd. Or there's a, there's a couple monks that are like perverts, basically. Straight up anime perverts. So I don't think it's in the any or the, the, the North American version, but... Uh, hee hee! Where is the crowning ceremony? Uh, guard duty? Can you please show your invitation? Uh, I can't. I wasn't invited, but I should have been. This is like when Dragon Ball Z, um, after, after Goku died in the first arc, and uh, they had to just mess around for a while before we got, like, the, the anime rather than the manga, and they just, they gave everyone, like, alternate jobs, so they, there's that garlic onion saga and all that that was not really canonical. This is the kind of villain I could see, just like, oh yeah, some witch shows up. <laughs> well, only an invited guest can attend the ceremony. I see, I see, okay, I'm going. Ha! And our level 20 promoted characters are one shot by a witch. That feels great. You're not very experienced, are you? <laughs> Even though they just won a battle, like an entire, they just, Look, the power scaling is getting a bit crazy. These, we just defeated, you know, ultimate evil devil guy, and then some randos show up, and it's a new arc, okay? The anime is on arc number three. Our heroes got reset back to punk kids again. Let's just, just accept it. Let me start the crowning ceremony of Prince Blue number two. Hey, King Blue. Lots of dancing and bird spinning. And then... What? Crowning of whom? Me, heh <laughs> A little posse of anime bad guys. What did he do? He just defeated the small devil. But they flattered him as hero of the Shining Force. I mean, wasn't what wasn't the Iom guy pretty big? It's like a pretty big fight. Stop that. What a rude old woman. What did you call us rude? Well, actually, yeah, you did barge in here with weapons during a party. This is the Palace of Cyprus. That's the one. Guardian and Cyprus. That's what I was looking for. Alright. You too, Bulldor. Stop it. We are actually being rude, you know. That is actually what we're doing. We barge right in and stop the party. Uh, who are you? My name is Deva. I'm just a very old woman. I heard that Prince Blue was becoming the king, so I came all the way to see if it was the right choice. Hiya! Right, I called her a witch, but I guess I spoilered it. But yeah, she's got some magic. <laughs> Queen, not again! How could they do this to us twice in one game? Ah, let you be the king if you can save Queen Henri. If you are brave enough to do it, come to my place. Hee hee. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'll try not to be too harsh on it. Final chapter. What about book four? It turns out book three is the final arc. Blue number two and his force left for Deva's mansion to rescue Queen Henri and preserve the name of the Cyprus royal family. Also, their bloodline, their heritage, the royal family. We've already rescued Queen Henri once, so it makes sense. I 
At least some of the force went up here. What a weird mansion! Graves, graves, graves! Oh, don't push me, Eric. <laughs> it is like a Saturday morning cartoon. What do you mean? I'm over here. Didn't you just push me? All three of our... They're probably supposed to be like Larry Curly and Moe or something, right? Like the Three Stooges. Who pushed me? Oh, e guys, it's a zombie. <laughs> That's good. Run right into the middle. Oh no, there's a uh, one of those Mario clouds, except with lightning. Lakudus, something like that. Oh no, there's evil lightning clouds. Be careful, zombies and lightnings. Oh my. So we don't get to choose our party for the first one. So I don't know how they decided who we get, but. Oh, that's really nice. Every time I move my keyboard, it's just... I'm not even... Game. RetroArch, can you please chill? I think it's... I have this glitchy keyboard. Brand new. Every time I touch it, the... Uh, it disconnects the, the cable. It's, it's really good quality. Um, okay, so how do we play this game again? <laughs> Let's see who we've got. Is, is there... Is it like Shining Force? Do we get the, the menu of everybody? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, okay, here we go. A better way to see what we've got. We've got Prince Blue, who's got a Buster Sword. That doesn't sound like a legendary sword of destiny. Um, but there you go, those were our stats. I don't know if this is exactly the same as it was in book one, but uh, that's what we got. We got Roos, the gladiator, all right? I think he's supposed to be like Luke's son or something from the first game. We've got Shade, not a rat, not a ninja. Uh, probably related to Hans or something. With a hyper cannon. I mean, you think you'd do good against killing zombies with a hyper cannon. Uh, we've got Wendy. The It looks like we've got all of our book one characters that's been a really long time since I've seen. So, uh, Fire Wizard that maybe will get Freeze level four. That would be good. I have a feeling Blaze four might not be great at, at this late into the game, but uh, we'll see. We've got Claude. Just Claude. Uh, the bird battler. Alright. I have a feeling I gave him some power wine. His attack looks really good. We have Diana, the other hero from the second game. So not quite just a default party. And it looks like I never grinded... Maybe I only grinded the first party up to level 1920. It might not have been as possible in the second book. There might not have been enemies that, that grinded you up as high a level. So no bolt level 4 for Diana. You gotta follow after blue. Um, also, just for interest's sake... 57 HP, 7153. Yeah, Blue's pretty good comparatively. You know, he's, he's pretty much the, the hero. Uh, then we got Natasha, who was the sort of other hero mage from, from book two. No level four magic. That really stinks to get through an entire game without level four spells at all. Uh, also, Egress, right? So you got. We got three people with Egress. Crazy. Uh, we've got Jaha from book. Two, Eric from book two, and Dawn from book two. She's got the javelin. That's a good one. Bunch of javelins. So they definitely didn't import their weapons, but I'm pretty sure their levels and stats made it over. Uh, we've got one healer, and it's Luke. Oh no, we've got Sarah. We got uh, the awesome vicar with all the magic. Yeah, okay, we're good. We got aura four. We shouldn't have much to worry about. Cool. So that's our party for now, and uh, it looks like it's kind of like the main crew from the first two games, you know. Uh, not not a lot of the secondary characters. Uh, let me just, give me a second here on our first video. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a slow one. Let's make sure speed is good. Uh, we'll speed that up. We'll leave the battle message on, although when you're grinding you can turn it off and it goes a bit faster. Um, we've got a map. Oh, only five enemies, that's easy. And um, I think that's pretty much it for options. Alright, so what about these enemies? Are they dangerous? Can I figure out what button to press? Uh, Dava Born. Dava Zombie. And Dava Pixie. It's probably... Yeah, Blaze 3. Alright, I mean, it's, it's been a really long time since I've played these games. So let's just get to work. And we'll see what happens. Oh, you, I didn't think you could walk on the uh, on the gravestones, the tombstones. Uh, if I can just get my controls figured out. 
All right, birds don't get uh, land effect for defense. Mages always end up with high agility, so they go first. Let's see. We do have range three, so let's see how... Uh, starting with range three is kind of crazy as well. Let's see how our, our archer does. Ah, shining force. Woo! That's pretty good. I do enjoy this general style of a game, you know? Like... Paladins. We've got blue. Um, could probably just murder him, but... We don't have a lot of MP on blue, so we'll, we'll save that for now. We don't also have a... We, we might have had a weapon that had a spell on it last time we used him, but... You know. Okay, we got two healers. Keep them in the back a little bit. I expect our level 14 characters will go last, generally speaking. It's a pretty well-balanced party, I guess, overall. You know, two knights, two warriors, two mages, two heroes, one bird. One archer. One bird and one archer. Oh, yeah, well. I did, si I did line that up really good. Heavy hit on a magic spell. So sadly, we don't have anything cool like, uh, what's it called, um, you know, Peter the Phoenix. So the enemy is, I'm not sure what the AI was doing there. They're kind of pulling back with a couple characters. I do expect we'll be, we'll be seeing some, uh, reinforcement spawns any second. <laughs> of course, you yeah. know. Maybe standing on top of the uh, tombstones is a bad idea. Now, I don't know for sure if there's any treasure on this map. Unfortunately, I don't have a really good guide. The walkthrough I was following before for secret items doesn't actually work. Uh, it doesn't, they don't have a book three version. They're just based on the Game Gear one. So. Uh, right now, we're playing kind of blind. So if I miss something really cool... Um, you know, sorry. Well, it kind of looks like maybe we should be using our level four level 14 guys to kill or finish off uh, the baddies. Although if I can pull off a little bit of fire, I'll do it. Is Blaze? Yeah, so, so they've gone, they went the standard style of level 4 gives you the single target and level 3 gives you the AoE. But is it, is this doing the damage of a, no, it's just like uh, Shining Force 1 and 2 style. The Game Gear, I remember talking about, did it the other way around, where level 3 was single target, level 4 was multi-target. And much higher damage. Okay, so Natasha, for instance, is level 14. If she could finish off a bat, she might actually get a bit of XP. Here I am already trying to uh, micromanage my XP gains. But, uh, or min-max, I guess is the word. It's not Shining Force if you're not trying to get the most XP per kill, for me. So that was much better than the level 20s fighting it, for sure. Now, it would definitely be nice to wipe out the, uh, the spell casting pixie here before it gets another turn. So. Let's see how we can do. Ah, good old flyers in there. It's like 1 in 4 or 1 in 8 dodge they get, something like that. Alright, let's see if the blue monster, the blue meister... Ah, his damage is good. XP doesn't really matter that way. Alright, then we've got... Probably... Garbage... Now, his damage, actually... His attack power, 70, isn't bad, but... Classic Monk, not really what I want. Um, and because we're, we're at relatively high levels here... Healing becomes very much, like, the basic heal spell does not heal enough. And it doesn't even go to 18 like Shining Force 2 did after you got promoted. So, anything that can do significant damage to us, I mean, it's pretty much impossible to heal through. Uh, Jaha. I should try to save our uh, wizard here. If I can get someone in there. I have a bad feeling about this pixie. I thought I was going to have enough turns to kill it, but, uh... Whatever. It's probably more MP efficient to just heal two people like this anyway. 
There's a reason why the uh, aura casting healer is at a higher level. Because we're getting 25 XP every turn. Alright, good. Eric, I know there's the zombie right there. Oops. Oh, right, you've got a... I still want to move here to block the path. To try to prevent the amount of the number... I don't know how strong my wizard's defense are, so I'm going to try to protect her. Good job, Eric. Got the XP, got the kill. No more AoEs. And then Dawn, maybe he can block up the root and kill the other one. Oh, it's not even damaged. I think this one must, might have spawned... Maybe the tomb that was supposed to blow up, we were standing on, so it didn't explode. But the monster still spawned underneath it. It's a... Possible scenario. And yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about only killing these guys with uh, my slightly lower level characters. But it would be more efficient. If, if you're worried about uh, gaining levels anyway. Oh, come on, Tien. Really good XP though, Tien. The same amount of uh, XP as you get for damage. So these diva zombies could certainly level you up beyond level 14 very quickly. So I don't know what the story exact. I mean, we're getting... I don't know anything about this uh, old lady that's decided to attack us. Uh, I expect we'll learn a little bit more as time goes on. But, um... I don't think she'll one-shot it. It might be weak to fire, though. Nah, good. Someone else can finish it off. Perfect. Unfortunately, Blaze 4 is not very strong. Basically, as strong as a regular attack from some of our characters, and it costs... Oh, this was a mistake, technically. Uh, and it costs a bunch of MP. Yeah, mages, without having, like, the summons from Shining Force 2, or some kind of... Like, I don't know what we could get in Book 3 that would make me think my spellcasters are actually good in this game. I'm just gonna get some train effect here. And uh, try to get uh, Blue healed up. I would expect the AI to focus him down a little bit more, like... Okay, that's a plus one for Shade. Uh, let's just remember him. Archer, looking pretty... That's, um... That's better than I was expecting. <laughs> the buttons are killing me. Uh, yeah, 80 attack power on the Hyper Cannon. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of... That's, that's good. That's real good. I suppose, typically, the re one of the main reasons I don't like um, archers is because... Oh! There's something... It's probably in the that spot there. Okay, well, let's let's try to clean up the, the zombies. So there are treasures in some of the tombstones. Hmm. We might have to spend a few turns just checking them all out, actually. But yeah, um, archers early game tend to be really bad with their range 2 nonsense. Yeah, here you go. Luke searched the tomb and gets a medical herb. Hey. Um, so do we have to check them all? I guess. It'll it'll say it should stay search if there's anything that you can search. And I think you have to face them at the end of your turn. Yeah, like that. The Mithril! Ooh, do we get to forge some cool weapons? I, uh, I doubt it. Oh, uh... Whatever, we'll top them up. I don't think this is going to be a super difficult battle, our introduction to Book 3. Keep running up my slow... The gladiators... Yeah, they only get five movement. Uh, very high uh, probability of getting benched. We certainly don't need two of them anyway. And I don't remember them generally having much more defense anyway. Well, maybe I lied. That was pretty good. 61 defense versus 53. I mean, that's... Like, almost 10 points more than my heroes. It's not. One of these days, I promise I'll remember the buttons. But it's backwards from what I'm expecting. 
we should try to get Deanna some level ups if we can. They're coming from behind and in front and all around to the sides. They're everywhere. They probably are based on like how far up the map we move. So, okay, add another couple turns of combat here. <laughs> At least my units are spread out reasonably well, but... Uh... Alright, let's focus on Pixie. No good damage. Now, it used fire magic, right? I have a feeling Natasha's gonna really suck. With no... Like, her, her ability to deal damage is just... <laughs> insignificant. Even though she can do AoE damage, it's just, it's not going to be enough. Um, we'll move all the way up here. She doesn't seem to have really good agility. Like, she goes first, which is nice, but um, she can't really... Uh, it's too bad, because Natasha's a hero. I might not be able to even kick her off the team. And with no level... She needs to learn a level 4 spell at now. Now o'clock. I mean, I was just complaining about how Blaze level 4 is not that great. But, I mean, it's certainly better than a level 3 spell at this stuff. Uh, let's try to... Take the Dava born? Deva? Dava? Diva? It's probably meant to be Diva. There's been some interesting translation choices and spelling. Uh, let's see. Priorities. Probably getting rid of these uh, behind our ranks enemies would be good. Level 15, 1 HP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 quickness. A very general level. Nothing good, nothing bad. Alright, Prince Blue, you're just charging up the middle. You're just having faith that your hero friends, your allies can can take care of the stragglers. He's got literal golden armor. I don't want to call him Prince Blue anymore. He's King Blue to me. These uh, bats are going to swarm all over us. Let's try to kill the pixie. I, I do think it's more important to kill than the bats. There we go. Good job, Eric. He's got nice green armor. I like it. It looks golden, but it also looks green. And uh, Luke, I actually would expect to do pretty good damage. So don't really think of him as a healer. Think of him as a melee unit that's kind of slow like a gladiator and not as good as a gladiator, but can heal a little as well. Like... They are more of a pseudo class, and with Misty Knuckles, like damage is pretty good. It's just, you know, 47 defense. It's behind my heroes and significantly behind what we would consider our tanks. And uh, he also only gets the five movement, right? So bad movement for a promoted character, pretty bad agility, average to weak defense, but sure, pretty good offense and. Uh, some magical. Yeah, I just, I don't like those, the monks they just don't really do it for me in this game. Let's see if we can use Jaha to lure the enemy down rather than let him smack. Uh, we'll send at least one healer up quick. Make sure. Sure, whatever. Get that XP. Grind that XP. I gotta remember to if, well, the problem here is if I if I kill the boss, we might end the map before I get all the treasure, so I Shouldn't rush it. Oh, okay, he's not going to charge us anyway. Okay, so the bird can check the top left um, tombs. Good, we lured him over. I, I just want to make sure he ch charges towards us, you know. Deanna will be fine. We're taking 30% less damage on a gravestone, which is a great terrain advantage. And yeah, I mean, we knew the bats were going to be able to chart fly in. Like, sheesh. My boosters are so weak. Well, I mean, they can do more than one damage on the physical, but still. Alright, more exploding tombs. 
Now, I'm going to assume that the exploding tombs would never have treasure in them. So you might be able to wait until the end of the map and just uh, gather up all the treasure from whatever doesn't get exploded kind of thing. I don't know. I think I'd rather have an archer. I if if Natasha gets a level four spell at level fifteen, I'll I'll feel a little bit bad that we didn't get that early. But okay, let's not straight go to the boss. Let's let's clean things up. So the skeletons here, the diva born, definitely a little bit stronger than the zombies. I will try to maneuver the level 14 or 15 characters to finish them off, if possible. As long as we're not being pressured, might as well. Can we... That's a treasure there. Maybe I'll save that for after we're done cleaning up, but... I bet you this was the last wave of reinforcements. Alright, Dawn... Can hit this one. Should get the kill. I do like Paladins. Lots of movement range. Uh, range to throwing attacks. You know, they're high quality in my books. Generally pretty good defense. I bet you he won't kill it. <laughs> Plus one Blue Ankula point for Blue Ankula. Uh... Who's... Did anyone take any damage up here? Not really. Alright, well, there's not much for, uh... Come on, go back. Why are the back buttons not working? Uh, sorry. Uh, not much for Sarah to do. You could... She does actually have the offense... Whatever. I'm going to save her MP, just put her on some grass. Roos, I don't, do I have like... Okay, we want Deanna to kill that one if possible. Oh my god, my... <laughs> I really hope I can get on top of my A button and B button by episode 2. <laughs> it's kind of infuriating. <laughs> Alright, Jaha, this one's all for you. Alright, the other paladin... Sure. I mean, actually, having the paladin stay back, not the worst idea, because they can run back up pretty quick. Ayo! And a running memento! Really good to get those, dang. Level 15, 1 HP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 quickness! Hmm. Suspiciously average. Alright, finish him, Deanna. There you go. More level 15s. 2 HP, 1 attack, 2 defense. Quickness, bolt 3. Alright. The best level up so far, Deanna. That's good. Hmm. More zombie. Uh, Alright, we'll probably let me check all the treasures in the back. I think, you know, we're on top of things pretty good here. Ooh, there is secrets. Okay, this is, there's a lot of junk to pick up. I really gotta find somewhere where I can look it up. Because, I mean, the gravestones are relatively obvious things to check, but... You could miss some good stuff, apparently. And having to do this with every single tile that might look interesting is definitely going to take too long. Alright. So we know there's something in there. Blue can't fight that guy, so pick it up. It's an evil ring. Alright, good. Cursed rings.
Boy, my Nick picture on the side there. That's the old Nick. He's uh, he's way cooler now that he's a prince. Okay, that's something. Now, I do need to keep an eye on uh, my inventory space. I think we'll be fine for now, but if you search somewhere and you don't have any space, I think you just lose it. A Venom Javelin? I've never heard of that before. I mean, probably cursed? I can't even check it. Alright. Well, okay. I'm actually quite excited to see uh, new items. That's, that's great. I think we need to check the corners here more than anything. Okay. Get him, Eric. Get him good. Yep, paladins are just chopping through stuff. So archers and paladins are looking real good so far. And Dawn picked up nothing. We could trade for the javelin. I mean, what do you guys think? Chances of it being cursed, pretty high. It's called venom. Probably poisons yourself if you equip it. Uh, but maybe? How do we do this? Can we do this? Item. You can give an item. You can't tr take an item. Alright, that sucks. <laughs> old games, old games. Uh, we should heal our mage. Uh, wrong mage. Oops. Do we get experience for healing zero? Let's test that out for book three. You still get XP, even if you... That breaks the rules of uh, Shining Force 1 and 2. We're cheating now. Free experience. Critical hit. Nice, nice. Just line him up for Jaha. Even though I don't really... I don't expect to use Jaha a whole lot, but... Uh... You never know. Okay, we've got to be getting close to this boss attacking us. More enemies. Well, this is a more significant fight than I thought. I mean, I was expecting a lot of ambushes, but... I wonder if, like... Well, you know, there were doors in the uh, book one and two that were basically infinite. It could be this is one of those maps where you could just grind as long as you want. <laughs> is gonna do like 20 damage tops not even 20. garbage spell so we'd have to like really the only way Deanna's getting leveled up she's so she's so fast on agility she's always gonna go first so we'd have to basically leave an enemy alive specifically so she um, can fight them like, at the end of the round, we basically have to let the enemy take an attack and hope it stays nearby. Just for her to have a chance. Right, I think I've checked all of these, uh... Tombstones, I, th I think. So, like, you know, Deanna could kill it now, but it'll get a turn before she gets a turn. Plus one uh, HP attack defense, or something like that. Actually, I didn't get a good look. Can't quite get close enough. But we'll head up this way anyway to help out with the two enemies. Shade. Do some chip damage, maybe? Oh, a double attack. Hey. Nice to see those. Not really necessary, but... Now, the enemies were dropping, like, running pimentos and stuff, so... I expect once we get to, um... What am I trying to say? Non-infinite respawning enemies, they won't come with items that they can drop, probably. HP 1, attack 1, something else, plus 1. Alright, let's... Give the Venom Javelin over... I keep saying Deanna. 
It's Natasha that's gonna have a hard time leveling up. Deanna's fine. Uh, let's heal the mage that actually needed to be healed. 38 HP at level 20 is... Well, I mean, Sarah's got 35 at level 25. Dang, she just, just does not get HP up. <laughs> you wanna start this? Maybe love, have a look at his stats, right? 58, 38, he's trash. Doesn't have anything to drop. I don't wanna, like... I don't wanna, like, kill him right away. But, uh... Let's see what he's got. Maybe he'll have, like, poison attack or something. He's worth lots of XP, though. So there should be a new round coming up shortly. We'll see if there's any more enemies respawning. There you go. So that might be an infinite tomb there that we could just grind. Unfortunately, Natasha, she really does have a ton of agility. I mean, 31 doesn't seem like much in the grand scheme of things. But it seems to be enough for her to go consistently first. So... I... I don't know how we're ever gonna get her to level up. Well, to be fair, she's almost gonna level up. <laughs> you don't need to kill things to get level up, Blue. Her last blades. But if she learns a new spell off of this, I'll be very happy. Well, uh, less upset, let's just say. <laughs> HP 1, MP 1, Defense 2, Quickness 1, no new spells. Defense 2 is good, but... That's about all she got. Hmm. It'd be nice to have two flyers. Flyers are pretty good, generally. Wendy, we're not going to steal the kill. She doesn't need it. Shade doesn't need to steal the kill. Just double checking. I'm definitely going to see... I'm going to look more seriously if, if I can find some kind of guide for where... I, I bet you if you put someone on this... Two things. First off, I bet you if I leave a character on top of this grave, they'll stop respawning. If you care about that. Uh, second thing, I'm going to try to look up a... If I can find somewhere that shows all where the, the hidden treasure is, I definitely want to have a skim of that while we're playing because... Um, you know, I don't want to miss stuff. I'm, I don't want to spend every episode click, click, clicking like this. And I'd rather just show you guys where the treasure is because it's such a such a niche game as, as as big as shining force was i don't know anybody that played shining force gaiden for the game gear or cd just not a lot of people had game gears or well sega cds let's say so it is stronger than the javelin quite a bit stronger um i bet you she's gonna get cursed but let's see what happens it's a range two javelin which is good Lots of damage. Tons of damage. So, quickness plus one. Oh man, terrible level up. Hopefully that's not the curse. I, I think we tested some curses out in some of the other ones. I think in Shining Force 1, each different type of cursed weapon had a different effect. Like, you take damage when you attack. Sometimes you get stunned, you don't attack, or you hurt yourself. I feel like it was just random in in the book one and two when we went through it. Um, what I'm hoping for is that it just sometimes inflicts her with poison or she just takes two or three damage. If she straight up misses attacks, like, you know, if it gives her like a 50-50 chance to do nothing, then it's trash, we need to get rid of it. But, um, you yeah, know, maybe it's, maybe it's not trash. And I suppose it's early enough that if it turns out there is some important treasure on this map, I could just replay it uh, off camera. You know, this is just the first one. I will try to look up treasures more. Because there, there are some really weird, like, that's how you recruited Domingo in the first book. Just, you just searched a random pool of water, right? There was no hint, I don't think at all. And so, very, very easy to miss. Well... I know we're kind of beyond the times where you really need to grind healing XP, but we're about to win, so let's see.
We didn't quite get a level 26 on her, eh? Pretty darn close, just not quite enough. Uh, is there save states? I actually don't even know if I have a save state in this. I think this emulator probably has save states, but I don't even know the shortcut for it. I don't want to click stuff without, I might just break it. So, let's let someone not level 19 finish this guy off. Oh yeah, so it looks like bats probably respawn and zombies probably respawn. Pretty likely that that just keeps going. Well, what if... What if that kills the boss and we get her a bunch of XP? There you go, Natasha. You're welcome. Take it when I can get it, I guess. Alright. Reasonable. Now I know that you're strong enough to just barely defeat zombies. But now you have to defeat my three flow flowers followers before you can meet me. Ha <laughs> ha! I bid you welcome. Enter my mansion at your own discretion. Huh. Please be careful. Yeah. If, uh, you know, I should have tried to egress out of that first battle. I wonder if I could have changed my group. I will need to cut the episode here. I forget how I did it last time, but I guess we can see the intro to the next battle and then we'll just egress out and see what it gives us. Oh, what is this? Bunch of drunk dwarves? Wait a second, how'd this make it to North America in the 90s? Oh, that smell! Oh, they fell passed out. I don't think I've ever heard this song before either. <laughs> oh, hello! Come over here, I won't hurt you. Sit down next to me, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, turns out she's got psychic power, so she's fine. Mayfair, are you? Oh, good. <laughs> we had a party waiting for you. This is a huge map, wow. Man, was that a party! I'm so tired. You took a long time. <sighs> Gee, uh, that's too bad. You'll have a full night's sleep. As you'll need a full night's sleep to have a chance against us. Ha! Don't mock us. We're not beginners. We fight like berserkers, even when tired. Anyway, you can't enter the next room until you defeat us. Now, come on! Or something. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on. But, uh, yeah, we'll look at this map when we come back. Uh, I have a feeling there's a bunch of random treasure in spots, so maybe we'll find some cider or something, if I can figure out. No? Man, the buttons are so backwards for me, it's crazy. Um, well, one of the plus things of Natasha going first is you can generally just bounce right out. So where does it put us? We get a little, little quick turn, a little quick... Uh, Town, turn, look, whatever. Welcome, Prince Blue. Everything's of high quality. So we can buy literal healing reins at the shop, at the store, plus all the usual junk. Uh, I mean, sure, healing seeds heal like 20 or something, so they're okay, but assumedly not that great. No, uh, no weapons for sale. No special deals. We probably don't have anything that needs to be repaired. Oh, and we do, in fact, have... Everybody. Ha! So we could have probably aggressed from the first fight and then reorganized. So I'll do that. I'll d I have a feeling we just have access to the whole crew all the time. So I guess I get to pick my favorite group. Which is cool. I don't know. I have no idea who I should pick. Um... Oh, that's right. And I used to do like uh, the help. They usually tell us a little bit about the battle, right? Maybe. Is there another promotion? I don't, I don't know if there's a promotion beyond level 2 at this point. Maybe if we get to level 30 or something. I don't know. Yes, I'm sure. Talk. That's what I was looking for. Oh, right. We can talk to everybody. Uh, right. So maybe next episode I'll start with uh, a quick recap of all the characters. And I'll have decided who I'm going to bring. Because I don't know if... I can't imagine trying to keep the levels up for everybody 
from the first book and the second book. So I'll just have to decide who we want to bring. It's going to take me a little while to like recap, refresh myself. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in here. Um, and even, was that Domingo even? Or, yeah. I thought I missed him. Maybe, maybe they just, oh, maybe they just have him join at level 10 if you missed somebody. Maybe I missed Gates too. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't use these people and they never got leveled up. That's likely. Alright, well, good enough for now then. Another Vicar. No aura. I'll, I'll try to make the, the A team. I'll, I'll find the best group I can pull out. We got lots of mages, lots of archers. We got lots of special characters. Uh, they only have five movement in this game. Ah, it stinks. Ninjas should have higher movement than uh, warriors. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll figure this out between episodes. When we come back, future tubers and all tubers, uh, I will see you for some more Shining Force CD book two. It looks like the game's gonna work at least, if I can ever figure out how to press buttons. And uh, I can save it, right? We're good. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for more Shining Force.